But anyone uh, thinking, even there was a German famous poet, it was Goethe. He was knowing this. He knew it and he wrote it down. It was, we have it written from him. He was saying, if Islam means to surrender in God, then all of us live and die in Islam. He was understanding. But Germans, they don't understand. <coughs> they don't understand. Or anyone. They don't understand. They are saying it's our biggest poet, Goethe, they are making so many things about him, but that sentence, they have not agreeing. Or they don't know it. Okay. Man, only what he wants to know, he is taking. What he doesn't want to know, he is refusing according to his ego, and according to shaitan. Yeah. And this is, in the whole world there is injustice, so many unjust things are happening, and there is killing and cheating and lying on this world. Especially people from the West, they are following since hundreds of years a way of politic of Cheating. They cheat. And they are driven, as human being is driven normally, he is driven by his bad characters, which is proud, pride, and envy, and greed. They have endless greed. Greed for material things. They want to accumulate money and treasures and everything for themselves and they don't hesitate to kill someone if they can be successful in that. So they cheat people. They were cheating a long time, since many hundred years. They are cheating peaceful people, like Red Indians in America. They killed millions of them, and they smile in their face, and they cheat them. And this is today the same thing. Today also, people smile in your face, but they want to get their advantage from anything. So, and Shaitan, he knows this. He knows that the only thing which can save you is the principles of Islam, to follow them. So he is making it the opposite he is managing to say in public, in public, publicity, medias, and so on, that Islam is the worst of everything. No. He makes it just the opposite. Just the opposite. He is managing. That everyone, if he hears Islam, he is shivering, or even the word, he cannot bear. Eh? Yes, because he is shivering, he may shiver, doesn't matter. He may shiver because his ego is in danger. Ego is in danger. Nobody will take his treasures or his money with him. This is dunya. We are not here for dunya. Human being is not created for dunya, for this world. He is created for Allah Almighty, for spirituality, for happiness, for eternity. Eternal happiness, eternal beauty, eternal wisdom, big treasures, spiritual treasures, not for this dirty thing. No. And you will not take anything from it when you die. What do you take? Which your treasures, your bank account, your papers, your houses, your televisions, your cars, your this, your that, what you are looking for, you take with you anything from it? Nothing. You get in your last apartment, it's two square meters, very small also, in the grave, and there's no place for anything. <coughs> no, you will not take anything. It's such an error, such a wrong thing. Come here, everyone comes in front, people cannot enter there. Yes. Keep Islam, keep your honor, teach your children, what is important? Most important is God. 
One of the big church, he said once, there's nothing important but God. What else should be important? No. Teach them this important thing, not this nonsense things, shaitan things, which has no value, only for dirtiness, and to keep you away from your real treasures, from your heart treasures. May Allah keep us, inshallah, on the right path, and to follow it, inshallah, always. You need a guide. You need a living guide. As the companions of the Prophet, they needed a guide, a real guide. Allah sent us this guide, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in person. Not in theory or in books, no, in person. This principle was always, since the beginning of Adam, he sent people. They have the message, but they have the example. They are living. They are showing the truth by living. If anyone saying something and he's not doing it, it's wrong. This is the reason why Islam is in a bad state. You have so many people, they say something, but they don't do it. They don't do it. So Muslims, they are in a bad state and they have no guide. Shaitan telling them, don't take a guide. You don't need a guide. He tells them, you have books, you are so clever one, you can read. No need for a guide. This is what he tells them. And Muslim believing. Yes, and he's Arab, he knows Arabic. Mashallah, I'm from Bosnia, I don't know, he must know. He's a shaitan. He's an angel from shaitan, saying what shaitan is saying, don't, need, don't take a guide. And you will not one step going spiritual progress. No. You cannot. You need the guide. You need the murshid. You need the sheikh. You need the maulana. You need the master. Living one. We are repeating this. That is what they say to us and we repeat it. As much as you like, we repeat it 100 times. If you don't do it, finish. Everyone is responsible for himself and he must look for someone to follow because then surrendering becomes real. So it's, you say, Islam is surrendering, very nice, I am doing, yes. Then comes the test, comes the sheikh in front of you and he orders you something, are you surrendering or not? No, no, I don't accept it, I am not human being. Ordering. Yes, then you go with your pride, with shaitan. This is like this. May Allah give us knowledge, inner inward knowledge and awakening in our hearts to follow the right way and to accept the awliyas, the saints who are the friends of God and we have to follow them, inshallah. Allah sending them for us in this time, mashallah, up to this time, mashallah, up to the end of time, inshallah. Buddha und Schwestern auf Deutsch. Salam alaikum und Jua Mubarak. Wir sind geehrt mit dem Geschenk des Islams. Alhamdulillah.